Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have for you my December BoxyCharm unboxing slash makeup tutorial. I have been obsessed with BoxyCharm for a few months now. I first subscribed to them back in like May, June-ish, and ever since then I have been loving it. So BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription service, so you pay $21 a month for four to six full-size products every single month. It's such a great deal because you get to try out new brands, you get to discover new brands, and not spend a lot of money because more than half of the time the box is definitely actually 100% of the time the box is worth more than what you're paying a month and usually one product in the box is already sometimes like $25 so it's like such a good deal because you guys know with $21 nowadays you can't buy a lot of makeup like not even at the drugstore like drugstore prices are even going up and have gone up a lot throughout the years so it's really nice because you get to try out like different brands too that you normally maybe wouldn't go out and purchase yourself so yeah I'm gonna be doing a full look using the products in here today and I'm also gonna use some of my own makeup products just because I obviously want to do a full glam and I don't have enough products in the box for that but throughout the video of course I'll let you guys know what's from the box and what's not and let's address the elephant in the room yes I finally cut my hair for a long time I said to myself and to you guys because you guys would always tell me like you should cut your hair you should get a shorter cut your hair so long and I was like no I'll never cut my hair I've said that multiple times like throughout the past couple years but it was just time for a change I just was so tired of my long hair I hated washing it I hated doing it because it was just weighing me down I wasn't getting what I wanted every time I would go to the hair salon and try to get balayage and try to get long layers nobody was doing what I wanted but I finally found a new amazing hairstylist finally it took a long time but good things take time <laughs> so yeah if you guys are interested I will leave her details down below but yeah I love the cut that she gave me she gave me like exactly what I wanted and if you go on her Instagram she has a ton of her work on there too which is really good so check the description box I just felt very weighed down with my long hair and I just wanted to change so now I feel so happy with this like this is exactly what I wanted it's so lightweight it's so healthy and I'm just like 10 times more motivated to actually do cute hairstyles with my short hair so yeah, I did show the process on my vlog channel. I don't know if the vlog is up yet, actually, but it's gonna be my vlog miss day eight. I am vlogging every single day in December up until Christmas, so if you guys like vlogs, definitely head over to my vlog channel. So anyways, enough rambling. I know we're here for BoxyCharm, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to grab a snack, and let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing that I have in the box is actually a detox activated charcoal max, max? <laughs> mask from the brand Cosmetix. Cosmetics? Is that how you play it? That's, that's a weird name. That's very weird. So this mask says it detoxifies your pores from daily grime with Cosmetics Activated Charcoal Mask. It improves the brightness of your skin while the activated charcoal and kaolin clay draw out dirt and impurities from your pores. And this retails for $30. So I'm going to just go ahead and apply this first and then we'll do the makeup, of course. So I have really long acrylics, as you guys can see. So I'm going to just apply this on a brush because I always apply my masks with a brush every time I have my nails done. I'm just using this foundation brush. I got this in a profusion thing that I got before from like TJ Maxx. So, oh, it's like a light blue. It smells pretty good. It feels really, really cooling just applying it. Now, obviously with masks, you can't like notice a difference. Like the first time you apply it, it's one of those things where you have to keep using it like over and over again. I don't do masks as much as I should. I feel like once a week is like good for a mask. I'm like a little blue smurf. So this says that you are supposed to, well, actually it says apply a generous amount to clean damp skin. Okay, well my skin's not damp, but it's clean, so that's good. <laughs> Massage into skin using a circular motion. Oh. Leave on skin, well, I guess you could just apply it with, it doesn't matter. Um, leave on skin for 10 to 15 minutes and then gently rinse with warm water and pat dry. Okay, so I'll come back in 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll get started on the makeup. Okay, I'm back. I did rinse my face off, I moisturized my skin, and I did my brows and I primed my lips and everything. So the mask felt really nice. I mean, I didn't obviously see a huge difference with my skin just because I did only use it once, but I mean, my skin feels pretty soft. I'll have to keep using that to actually see if it makes a difference, but it didn't harden or anything, which I thought that it would just because I did use quite a bit. It kind of just felt like really not much on my skin. So I just rinsed it and that was it. Let me just say, I do not know how to pronounce anything and I am the worst pronouncer on the face of this earth. This is not called Cosmetics. This is called Cosmetics, like cosmetics. <laughs> it's just spelled 
like cosmetics. Cosmetics, cosmetics. Yeah, it's just, uh, I'm a hot mess. So this is pronounced cosmetics. <laughs> I'm gonna move into eyeshadows and I'm so excited about this eyeshadow palette because it looks right up my alley. It's a really nice palette. It comes with six highly pigmented mattes and shimmers and two highlight shades. This palette is from Suva Beauty and this retails for $34. So that's already more than the box right there. So I am gonna just do, I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna just roll with the punches. So I'm gonna start off by taking the shade Tact in here, which is like a nice cream color, and I'm gonna apply that all over my lid. And I'm using an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I love this brush. This is a nice color. It's a cream shade, and it just does a good job at canceling out any discoloration because like the primer that I use doesn't have any color to it, so this is good for just like evening everything out. Okay, then I'm gonna use a NYX blending brush, and I'm gonna pick up the shade Conscious in here. And it just uses as my neutral blending color. I prefer usually something a little bit lighter than this. But we're just gonna roll with it. I don't wanna use this brush. I'm gonna use a white haired brush instead because I feel like, no. I'm gonna just use my Beauty by Rosita blending brush, top off the excess, and blend the shade in the crease. It's blending out pretty well. It is really pigmented, but you have to work with it. I'm gonna use this brush from my Amazon brush kit that is actually back in stock. Well, it's not my brush kit, but it's uh, my favorite brush kit from Amazon. I'm gonna take the shade Aesthetic, and I'm gonna start applying that on the outer part of my crease. I'm gonna drag it also on my lid and just everywhere. This is a really nice shade. A purpley. Oh, I love colors like this. They're so, so nice. I want to use a different brush, actually. Something different. Okay, I switched brushes. I'm using a Sigma E25 blending brush just because this one's a little bit more angled and I feel like it just fits better on the crease. So... I think I'm gonna do a halo eye, so I'm just packing on this shade. It doesn't have to be super precise, like on the lid area, because I'm gonna be applying a shimmer. Oh, I have a little eyebrow hair. I always pluck hairs when I'm doing my makeup, like that's when I notice them the most. I think I like this. The formula of this is nice, it's pigmented, but you do have to really work with it. It's not just blending super seamlessly. And my brushes are clean, I just cleaned them yesterday, so it's not the dirty brushes, but yeah, just a little FYI. It's not a bad palette though. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my Anastasia number 18 brush, I'm gonna take the shade Structure in the palette. I'm gonna spray actually my brush because I always do that with my shadows. Actually, let's see how it looks without any spray first. Okay. It is showing up. It's pretty. You know what? I feel like this is looking like a halo eye that I did already on my channel like a month ago, and I don't want that to be the same, so I'm going to just apply this color all over because I don't want it to be like the exact same thing. I just remembered that, that I did this similar thing already, but... I'm gonna keep that, that's pretty. I'm gonna spray my brush. I feel like it's pigmented, but it's a little bit chunky, so I want it to be more smooth, so. Just, oh yeah, it helps a lot. It was a pretty color. It's like really sparkly and pretty. I'm gonna then go in with the shade Balance. On a fluffy brush, I'm gonna be applying that on the edges of that other shimmery color and also in the crease area. Try 
trying to use as many of the colors as possible. That's really pretty too. I feel like the shimmers always help. If the mattes ever look blah, add some shimmer. Now we have to do the same thing to the other eye. I feel like this eye's blending better. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Maybe I have leftover residue of soap in my brushes and that's why it wasn't working the greatest. Oh gosh, okay. I'm just making sure I'm still recording. Cool, cool. I like that. Okay, um, same thing. So. This Anastasia brush, oh my gosh, this is everything. Using a little Smashbox primer water. This shade is really gorgeous. This is giving me like New Year's Eve vibes. Like it's so sparkly and so pretty. Like I love that. Do you see that like glitter sparkle in it? It's stunning. I like how the balance shade, the like orangey shimmer, it's like that has more of like a sheen. Whereas the other one is definitely more glittery, but I really, really like the two. So I'm just gonna add basically more of the other colors in here as well. Ooh, you hear the motorcycles out there? Oh, it's so weird touching my hair, like with not a lot of hair. I'm like, oh my God, where's my hair? But then I'm like, ooh, this is better. It's softer. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this color right here and add it in the crease. So I feel like definitely after I got past that first layer of shadow, it just blended a lot better. Like I said, maybe it was just me because the eyeshadows now, I like them more versus when I first started applying it on this eye. But I'm just gonna wipe away the fallout and I'm gonna be doing falsies, of course. I'm gonna just not do winged liner today. I'm not feeling it. It wouldn't be a juicy jazz video without motorcycles in the background. Next up for lashes, I am using these from Vianney Strick. She did a collab and I will link it down below. These are in the style Princesa. They're so beautiful and so wispy. So I'm going to pop these on and then we'll move into the skin. Okay, lashes are on. I'm gonna move into the skin. So I'm gonna be priming with my Koki Smooth Glow Hydrating Foundation and Primer. My skin feels a little dry today. So this really does a good job with Moisturizing, it kind of feels like a really lightweight gel moisturizer, but it gives me that smooth effect, which I love. Then for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I just did a review first impression on this, and this is my third time using this foundation. I used it yesterday when I got my hair done, and the girl gave me a compliment. She was like, oh, gee, what foundation are you wearing? It looks so smooth. So it does make your skin look really, really nice, and it does last all day. So I'm just gonna pounce this into the skin using my Dollar General Beauty Sponge. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys, I'm in shade 460. It matches me really, really nicely. So I was getting a couple questions whether I like this one or the Pro Matte more or the Pro Glow. So this one is definitely kind of like that in between foundation. So for the matte foundation, I honestly have not used that in a long time because it's just, there's so many new foundations since that first came out and since I was using that, that I kind of like replaced it. I don't even have it in my collection anymore. Like I remember I ran out of it and never repurchased it. I, I probably should, but from what I remember, that foundation was very matte and it had a natural powder finish. This one is definitely more just like neutral. Like it's not too matte, it's not dewy, and the Pro Glow gives you a really natural glowy finish. I also haven't used that foundation in a long time, but if I had to choose between those three, I would probably use the Pro Glow because that one, you can build it up and it doesn't cake up, whereas this one, if you build it up too much, it can look cakey. But it's really, really beautiful though. Like as you can see, one layer gives you some really good medium coverage, which I like. Then for concealer, I'm using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer in shade Biscotti. Since I didn't use two layers of the foundation, I'm gonna use a little bit extra concealer. And I'm using the same sponge to blend that out.
Nothing blends concealer in really precise areas better than this e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I'm telling you, I can't live without this brush. I love it so much. Alrighty, then I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath my eyes and I'm gonna use my ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I have this one in Translucent. I've actually really been loving this lately. Definitely added to my favorite translucent powders list. I want some more powder on my face, so I'm gonna go in with my NYX No Filter Finishing Powder. I have this one in Medium Olive. This is probably like a tad too dark. Like I could definitely go down a shade in this, but whatever, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna also drag a little bit of this down my neck. Then I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and contour with my Thrive Cosmetics Sun Chaser Bronzer in the shade Raya. I always use this brush. This is the Wet n Wild P53. I think it's called the Precise Bronzer Brush. And so I like it because I talked about this in a favorites video. It really makes the bronzer look so natural and smooth and amazing. So I use this brush all the time. This was, I believe, from their Zodiac collection. That's why it has this handle. This is so satisfying, cleaning up the bronzer. I love doing it. Okay, then for blush, I'm going in with this Wonder Beauty Wonder Dress Dusk to Dawn Blush and Highlighter Palette. So this one retails for $26. So this is a BoxyCharm exclusive launch. It has three shades that are buttery, natural, and it gives you a glowing finish. The packaging is really cute. I can't tell you guys that I would honestly spend $26 on this though. This is a really small palette and the pan sizes are very small for that price, but it looks pretty. I'm gonna take both of the blushes and I'm gonna just mix those together, literally just swirling in there, tapping off the excess. It's pretty, it's really, really natural. So what I'm gonna do is use this highlighter and then I'm gonna use the highlighter in the eyeshadow palette on the other side because I wanna test both out. So I'm gonna use my Do Care highlighting brush from Amazon. Very natural. Then I'm gonna use on the other side my Anastasia A23 brush and I'm gonna take the shade Era from the highlighting palette, or the eyeshadow palette, I'm sorry. Also very natural. I think I like the other one better, honestly, because it's like more of a golden type of highlight, and I like that more. But very natural, so keep that in mind. It's not gonna be like, super beaming in your face type thing. Sorry, I'm fixing this eyelash because both of my eyes are two different eye shapes, so it always makes this eye look like a lazy eye. So I try to like fluff this lash up so that it doesn't like droop down. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back into the eyeshadow palette. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I am going to take the shade Conscious and I'm gonna be applying that right on the lower lash line. You know what, just kidding. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna take the shade Theory and I'm gonna dip my brush in here and then I'm gonna spray my brush because that's necessary, I feel like, with these shades. Okay, then I'm gonna use this eyeshadow brush from the Sephora collection, actually. It came in like a kit that I got, and I'm gonna take the shade Conscious, and I'm gonna mix it with Aesthetic. So literally just dipping my brush into both, tapping off the excess, and then smudging those shades on there. I'm 
going to use my Sigma E25 blending brush to blend that out because I want it to be kind of all connected from here to the lower lash line and I want it to be very smoky and blown out so Alrighty, then I'm gonna go ahead and just line my waterline with this Essence pencil. This one is in Silky Nude because I have a lot of dark colors going on and I always love doing a color like a nude liner like this because it really makes everything pop. You see how much I opened up my eye? Let's just disregard the fact that I have two different eye shapes, but yes, that really, really makes a difference. You see, it's just like so open. Okay, then for lips, we have a lip liner in here from the shade Bodyography. I think there was an eyeliner in here a previous month from, I forget, in the summer, and I didn't like the eyeliner, so I'm, I don't know about this. I don't know if it's gonna be good, but we'll give it a try. This is $12. It's a vegan, cruelty-free lip liner. It has vitamin E and coconut oil in it and it's supposed to be like super creamy and amazing so we shall see this one is in the shade heatherberry which is like a nice mauvey tone which i think goes good with the eyes so let's see okay i already don't like this at all this is very very hard on the lips Yeah, I don't like this formula at all. It's very hard. It's not creamy. I find it very hard to believe that there's coconut oil in this because no The wooden lip pencils that I love are from LA girl. They're four dollars the perfect precision lip liners These are good. They're wooden, but they're so creamy on the lips this I wouldn't pay twelve dollars for this This is probably the thing that I don't like in the box this month. Final thing I'm gonna do is just top that off with some Tardis Shimmering Lip Paint. This one is an Insta Famous. I really don't love the original lip paints, but this is like a gloss type of thing. It's very, very sparkly. This could be a really pretty lip topper though. Mm, it smells kind of like chocolate Tootsie Rolls. I used to love this. Okay. I kind of want to put something over top of this because I don't know how good this is gonna look because it's like a sheer glittery gloss. Uh, let me just, okay, let me just go with it. Mm, you don't get a lot of product on the brush or on the applicator. I can see you applying this maybe if you wear like a really pretty like pinky nude lip and then you apply this right in the center, it could be pretty. And you know, I really like that color of the lip liner, like it's really nice. I just don't like the formula. Mm, actually, this is pretty. Once you build it up more, but you have to build it up quite a bit because you don't, like I said, you don't get a lot of product. I'm actually really liking this look. Like, oh, you know what? I need more highlight. I'm going to spray my face and then I'm going to add more highlight. I'm going to use this Japanese makeup setting spray and I'm just going to set my makeup and add more glow. I'm going to add more highlight from the Wander Beauty palette because I like that color more than the other ones. I'm gonna go in and blend it out with my beauty sponge. All right guys, I'm all done with the look. This is what everything looks like. So I just did the math. In the box this month is worth $122, which is really, really good. So let me just start off by saying the things that I really didn't like in this box mainly was this lip liner. And the reason being, like I mentioned, is because of the formula. I hate the formula, love the color, but this formula is so drying. It just feels awful on the lips. This Tardis lip paint, first of all, it's like creating like that goop right here. I guess because I applied a lot, but I do feel like this is more so like a lip topper. It's not something that I would like throw in my purse and touch up with throughout the day because it's more so for me, not really like a lip gloss type thing. It's definitely more of a lip topper, something that would look really pretty right in the center of your lips over top of your a really good liquid lipstick or a lipstick, but definitely not on its own. I like this, but I can't say that I would go out and repurchase another one of these. So this is kind of like, eh, like I'm going to use it and it's really pretty, but it's not something that I would actually go out and buy myself. Everything 
else though I really did like, I do like this mask. It felt really nice. It made my skin soft. I didn't obviously see a huge difference, but I'll keep you posted on this though, the more that I use it, but I did like it so far. The eyeshadow palette at first I was a little hesitant with, but once I got past that first layer of shadow, I was like, okay, this is really beautiful. So really do like the shades in here. The highlights are very natural. So if you're into that, you would like them. You can also use them as eyeshadows. They feel pretty soft when you like just dip your finger in, but actually applying them to your face, they're not going to be super buttery and intense, but they're pretty if you are into the natural highlighted look. Oh God, this lip gloss is really kicking up on my lips. Oh my God. No. Yeah, this is not meant to be applied all over the lips. So mm, that Tardis lip paint, actually, I'm going to have to pass on that. <laughs> Yeah, no. The Fenty Beauty glosses are like hands down way better than that. I would rather spend money on that than this, so. Mm. Mm. And this Wondrous palette from Wonder Beauty is pretty. The blushes are very natural. The highlight is very natural. And I think this is really good for like, you know, an everyday working person. Maybe you're going to school. You just want a really quick and easy palette to have in your collection for a really easy look. This would be good. I do like how you can build it up because you saw once I sprayed my face and I added more, it was like really beaming. So this is pretty. All right, guys. So that completes this BoxyCharm video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys got in your box. What are your thoughts? I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for everything. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye.